up to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to work with tempera pink. We're going to dip our brush like that and then we're going to put the paint down. It's thick right now so I'm going to stroke it down. I want to show you something. I'm holding it like that so I can use my whole wrist. I'm not holding it like that because then I can't really move my wrist. So if you can find a way to dance your fingers around so that you can move your brush really easily. See how I'm just kind of twirling it around? Figure out how you can do that. What feels comfortable for you? So I'm going to dip in and then I'm going to stroke. Nice and easy. I'm not smashing the brush. I'm stroking the brush and I'm thinning it out and making the paint Thinner. Do you see that? Okay, good job. So I'm putting a lot of paint down. And what color is this? Yeah, it's yellow. Good job. So now I want to clean my brush. So I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to swish it. Do you hear that sound? Yeah. Go ahead and swish it. Good job. And then they brought the water on it. See, there's still paint on it, so I might have to swish it again. I'm trying to get rid of all the paint. Yeah, I did it. And then I can take a paper towel to check it. Oh, I still have some paint on it. Now I'm going to take a little tiny, tiny bit of red. See how little bit of the red I have? And I'm going to put it in the yellow on the paper. What am I getting? Does anybody see what I'm getting? What color is this? Yes, I'm making orange. Good job. So I have a lot of red, and now I need it to make it more orange. So I'm going to clean my brush. Oopsie. Really squish it. And now I'm going to take yellow. I'm going to dip in. I'm going to take a lot of yellow, and I'm going to blend. So I'm crisscrossing it, crisscross, crisscross, making X's. I'm stroking my brush, kind of like a pattern. Pattern is when you repeat something. And it can be different. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going into my yellow. Pretty, isn't it? Great job. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to stroke and blend and smooth it out. Take your time. Swish your brush. And now I'm going to clean my brush. Ooh, I really cleaned it well last time. And I'm going to take a teeny, 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 teeny bit of red. And I'm going to paint it on and mix it in. If you put too much paint on, you will probably get a hole on your paper. <laughs> So, be careful. Oh, I just dipped in. Did you see that? I hadn't cleaned my brush. Yeah, I have to be careful with that. So I'm going to blend. I have less paint on my brush right now, so it's easier to blend. And I'm stroking. I'm pressing down and stroking. Can you practice doing that? Great job. What do you think this looks like? Yeah, it's a sunset. At least I think it looks like a sunset. I'm going to now take my brush, I'm going to clean it, and I'm going to add a little bit more yellow, and I'm going to stroke. Good job. Beautiful. When it's dry, you can take two, what are these? Yeah, they're rectangles. You're going to cut one in half, and you're going to make a triangle. Then you're going to take some glue, remember how I told you to turn this, and then you're going to take the glue here, put it on. Now if the paint's still wet, it might make the paper all dirty, but it can be used as glue. And then I'm going to place it down here, and then I'm going to take my triangle, and I'm going to place it there. What do I have? Yeah, it's a house. 
Great job. You can make many houses or you can just leave it like that. Oh, did you see what I just did? I shut it. Great job.